As most of you will be aware, the South Australian Government has introduced legislation concerning the supply of plastic shopping bags. We will no longer be able to supply banned plastic shopping bags at all and customers will be expected to supply their own bags. It will be important for you to recognise the bags that are allowed and the ones that are banned. The legislation states that you can pack on behalf of the customer any bag with a thickness greater than 35 microns. The question, however, is, what is 35 microns? As a guide, you can safely accept bags from outlets like David Jones, Sports Girl, Sanity and Maya. Biodegradable bags that have been assessed and tested in order to reach the Australian standard and can therefore be called compostable are also acceptable. To assist our customers, we have appropriate bags available for purchase. These bags include our Drake Black Bag, our Drake Cooler Bag, our Drake Choose to Reuse Approved Compostable Plastic Bag, the I Used to Be a Plastic Bottle Bag and two sizes of silver thermal bags. If any member of staff provides or sells a banned plastic bag to a customer, the company could face the following fines. A maximum penalty of $5,000, an on-the-spot fine of $315. Barrier bags are the bags that we currently use for fruit and veg items, and they are not banned. You will keep a roll of these at your register to use if you think it would benefit the customer. For example, if the customer has a couple of small, light items that will fit in a free barrier bag, offer them a bag. These bags can also be used at your discretion, but only if the customer agrees to their use. Some customers may not agree with the ban of plastic shopping bags, or may become frustrated if they forget to bring their own bags. If you encounter a difficult customer who is complaining about the ban, please explain that it is government legislation. It applies to all retailers in South Australia and we must comply with it. Point out to the customer that the ban is helping to protect the environment and wildlife by reducing the litter and damage caused by checkout style plastic bags. If the customer becomes upset or aggressive, immediately contact your supervisor or manager on duty. If a customer provides a bag to you that is unhygienic or too dirty or damaged in any way so that it won't carry the goods properly, here's what you do. Call your supervisor to deal with the situation. Use common sense and only call your supervisor if the bag is in a condition that could be unhealthy to you or the customer or dangerous if used to carry groceries. The supervisor will use their discretion in relation to replacing damaged or dirty bags. Always ensure that all reusable bags are empty before you start packing. If the customer has other shopping in their trolley or bag, check that they have a valid receipt. As a result of this legislation, you will have the challenge of packing the different types of bags provided by the customer in a safe and professional manner. However, the overall consideration is that you use correct manual handling techniques at all times and be careful when lifting, pushing or pulling a shopping bag. Always avoid manual handling issues such as overstretching and use common sense and never pack a bag that is too heavy for the average person to lift. For heavy items such as dog food, potting mix, water or cans of drinks, either use the hot keys button on the register or politely ask the customer to read the APN. Our aim on checkout is to ensure that our customers arrive home safely with goods in the same condition as when they selected them from the shelves. You should always pack groceries how you want them to be packed for you. Here are some general rules of thumb. Assess the number of bags provided by the customer in relation to their shopping load. Assess the customer, for example, are they elderly, frail, disabled or do they have a special request? Place the heavy items on the bottom and place the light items on the top. Where possible, keep the frozen and dairy products together. Use a Drake cooler bag if provided or suggest to the customer that they purchase one. Where possible, keep the fruit and veg items together. Deli items should not be packed with meat products. Red meat leakage of blood may run into other products, especially cold meats from the service deli. If the customer only has one bag, explain that you don't think the products should be packed together. Suggest that the customer purchases another bag or carries the meat separately. 
You may offer the customer a barrier bag, provided the customer agrees. Pack cleaning or smelly items together. If the customer only has one bag, ask if they would like to keep the cleaning or fragrant products separate or purchase another bag. Would you like these items in the same bag or would you like to purchase another bag? Oh no, I'll get another bag. Another bag? I'll just grab that for you. Thank you. Always let the customer know what you are doing and ask if it's alright. Overall, when packing shopping for our customers, remember these fundamental points. Assess the customer, the shopping load and the number of bags. Place heavy items on the bottom and light items on the top. Where possible, keep apart perishables, groceries and cleaning products. And always communicate with the customer and let them know what you're doing. I've popped your eggs and all your light things in the one bag, alright? Thank you, that's no great. worries. We pride ourselves on our standards of presentation throughout the store. Your service extends to the way you present the packed bag to your customers. Use common sense and remember what you've learned in this presentation.